Hi guys, welcome back to SNT Networks. In today's video, we'll be discussing uh, in ninth part of the series, scenario-based interview questions and answers based on network and network security both. So here uh, we have a question. This was asked a couple of times from basically interviewed, uh, you know, upper experienced folks. So the question is, uh, a client, uh, client's traffic to the server, basically this is your client, client's traffic to the server goes via firewall F1, but the return, tra uh, return path comes via firewall F2, causing packet drops. How would you troubleshoot? This is a very simple question. So basically, you won't be also given the diagram. You just have to understand on your own how the path will follow, where exactly can the device be. So this is a very simplified diagram on, uh, you know, on the basis of the question. So what we can say is if you're, if a client is sending packet from, you know, this client, basically, I'm trying to fetch something from the server. So it's sending packets from F1, correct? But uh, when you look at it, what it says is the return traffic from the server comes via F2. Now, because of this, it is causing packet drops. Okay. So now for, for example, but simply you can say that there is a TCP connection in place. Okay. So you're sending thin here. Okay. And the SYNAC packet that is being sent by the server goes through the F2. Correct. Now, since firewall being a layer seven, or you can say that next generation firewall, a very smart device, it will check the session table. It will also check if for this particular, for example, this is a client, this is a server, right? For this particular session, do I have a session table? From this client to the server, have I sent a TCP SYN or not? If it is coming without SYN, then it basically means that we do not have, uh, you know, a particular session or a hashing or a table maintained for it. So what will the uh, next firewall or the firewall F2 do? It will basically check the session. There is no session. So what it will do, it will directly drop the traffic then and there. Okay. So this will be the normal course of action, but uh, they are asking us to troubleshoot. So now let me just rub this off. And let's get into the troubleshooting part. Now, how will you troubleshoot? For example, the first thing you'll do, the very, very basic first thing that you'll do is basically ping. Okay, you'll see if both are reachable or not. You already know it's reachable. I'm just telling you this is how you need to follow. The second part. Now, this is important. You'll use a trace route. Now, when you do a trace route, from client to the server, you see that the packet goes through F1, correct? But then when it comes back, it goes via F2. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, definitely there is something wrong. Either there is something wrong or there is sort of asymmetrical routing. Okay. Now you come to the third part. So since we are telling that the packet or the SYNAC packet, let me just write this also. The SYNAC packet that is following is getting dropped. We know that. Now we need to find out why it is getting dropped. Just to confirm that, we check the routing table. Okay, now we know it's going from this way. So we check the routing table for client, correct? We see the routing table on R1, okay? Then uh, for this particular destination, that server, it will tell you that the next stop is F1, okay? And for server, the next stop, uh, when the packet is going from server to client, basically from client to server, next stop is F1. From server to client, next stop should should be should be F1 for the normal flow of action, normal uh, traffic flow. But right now it is not F1. What is it? It is F2. So where will the routing part happen? Here. So now you know there is some asymmetrical routing. Okay. Now these are the points you will need to mention. Asymmetrical routing. Asymmetrical routing. Now, when once you tell them that, they are like, okay, we don't have time to, uh, you know, uh, basically create a symmetrical routing or change this. It's under production. Now, what is the next plan of action you suggest? The first answer is asymmetrical routing. This is the flow how you will get to asymmetrical routing. Now, next. Now you know it's asymmetrical routing. Now, next thing you'll do, you will ask, can I bring both of them into a cluster? Okay, this is actually a good uh, solution. Like can I bring both of them into a cluster and use session synchronization? 
okay so now we are on to the solution so next answer would be cluster using session sync so now because if i'm using cluster and i'm using session sync uh, the normal course of action will happen okay you can basically all the session will be synced and you can make sure the traffic goes on and uh, either it will work as a same entity you can use active passive or you can use the uh, you know active active for that as well but then there are different settings on different particular vendors then you will need to turn on okay that again depends on the type of vendors that you have okay that is there and again another thing you will check here in the troubleshooting part is nat if there is any natting happening on this particular firewall so when the server is responding back because of probable nat that you have uh, you know configured the traffic might be going through here so since we have deducted that it's asymmetric asymmetrical routing you don't need to worry about that but this is again a very good point for the interview so you can say that you know nat uh, could be one of the causes so now this is done now they are like no this is in production we can't do cluster right now both of the solutions that you have given are not feasible because it's in production we can't afford a lot of downtime so now 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 here the experience part comes in on uh, you know firewalls like palo alto and uh, you can say srx there is something called no sin check or you can say that it basically comes under out of order okay so it's usually no sin check so what happens is uh, due to you know not exactly uh, ecmp happening in in network or asymmetrical routing what you can do is on your firewall f2 right here on your firewall f2 what you can do is you can enable this option called tcp then no uh no sin check okay it's again for different uh, firewalls or different vendors you have uh, you know different uh, sort of configuration it's basically for out of order packets just by out of order i mean it will just not check for the tcp sin if there is any session based on that even if you have a synac it will let you uh, you know make a session but then uh, so let me tell you the flow first so what will happen in this particular flow is we remove this off yeah so first first what happens is through f1 you send a tcp sin to the server okay now when the packet is about to come back due to asymmetrical routing or natting whatever right the packet comes back from f2 now here you have a setting called tcp no sin check enabled here what it will do is it will just start a session and let you uh, you know let these particular packets flow so without the tcp sin it will allow the synac packet to flow so once the synac packet is flowing it will reach the client and then you can make your session correspondingly so that works that will basically help you but you also have to remember and you also have to uh, you know convey this to the uh, you know interviewer uh, very strongly that this requires a lot of compliance issues and uh, can only be done on a very few devices based on your uh, you know company or you can say that uh, based on uh, you know uh, basically your configuration your topology but this will require a lot of approvals because this is usually not recommended okay let me just say that again so it is not recommended from uh, any uh, you know and this is not recommended and it's not actually a fix not a fix you remember this not a fix it's just a work around by the time you can bring your whole network up either uh, fix your routing or uh, you know make a cluster or uh, you know basically fix your routing then make a cluster if required and uh, you know basically till the time uh, you know you have this or it is done on very special type of topologies not usually done is just a feature provided in the firewall which is a very good feature right because all the topologies can never be exactly based on the ecmps right the routing will never be symmetrical 
uh, because you keep on adding in new network devices to your network and you have to make sure that the paths are different, you know, uh, based on your SNMP, based on your regular traffic, control plane, all of that. So th this is the basic answer. The first one you'll say is I'll, I know it's asymmetrical routing or it's NAT. So if I rule out NAT, it's asymmetrical routing. I have to fix it. Uh, I can try to create a cluster, use session sync just to make sure the traffic flows on the same firewall, right? And the last part would be to use a workaround. Your workaround is no scene check. Uh, I say it as a workaround because I'm pretty sure it is not recommended by a lot of, uh, you know, it's not recommended and not as per security. Also, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's not, uh, safe. Basically you can't allow TCP SYN packets, uh, SYNAC packets, uh, without the SYN packets. So if that happens, it could lead to an attack or something. So it's not recommended, but you can use it as a workaround using your uh, norms and different standards and your different approvals based on that. But from the uh, vendor's perspective, either Palo Alto or uh, SRX, it is a feature that's given. So this was your part nine on uh, scenario based interview questions and answers. Do let me know if you need me to discuss any other questions or do also let me know if you have any other questions which you face in an interview and let's discuss on that. Let's help others. And uh, yeah, thank you.